This here's the tale of a man named Sean. He gets his kicks by keeping your power on. Stop, stop, stop. Enough with the music. I want no music in this video. Hey guys, Sean with Long Long Honeymoon here today. We're taking a look at the most affordable way to get AC electricity to your campsite. I'm talking about inverters. Nope, none of that either. This video is sponsored by Ampeak, a brand dedicated to safe inverters and intelligent charging. Why do you need a power inverter? Well, power inverters convert DC electricity like you might get out of your vehicle batteries or out of solar panels into AC electricity, which is what most of our household appliances use. So when you have a power inverter, you will have AC outlets built into that inverter. And you can see here a 150 watt inverter by Ampeak. These smaller inverters are designed to work with the 12 volt power points that you would find in any vehicle or RV. They're very simple to use. You just plug them in, maybe you flip a switch to turn them on, and then you can plug up your portable electronic devices and enjoy that wonderful AC electricity. However, if you want to step up, make a little bit more of an investment, and power larger household appliances like blenders, griddles, hair dryers, then you can get a larger unit. And here is a 2,000 watt unit by Ampeak. These inverters output enough electricity to power pretty much anything in an RV. This 2000 watt unit includes a convenient LCD display so you can check important information like input voltage, output wattage, battery status, and the unit's internal temperature. Note, inverters come in two different flavors. There's pure sine wave inverters and there's modified sine wave inverters. If you think of electricity like a wave, pure sine wave inverters output smooth waves that are very similar to what you get out of your household outlets at home. Modified sine wave inverters output safe electricity, but the wave is not quite as smooth and steady as pure sine wave. So if you are powering sensitive electronics like laptop computers and so forth, then I recommend you go for a pure sine wave inverter. Whatever model you choose, all Ampeak inverters will deliver stable electricity and have built-in safety features. If a potentially damaging fault is detected, the unit will cut off the power supply in order to protect electrical appliances. That's a little baby swimming between the, the mom. Yep. You see her? She's tiny. You see her little head? Yeah. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> you know, when Chrissy and I first started camping many, many years ago, we flew out to the Yellowstone National Park area, rented a car. We had a tent, two sleeping bags, an inflatable air mattress, and one of these, a power inverter. We started with a small 400 watt inverter and found ourselves using it several times every day. They use their inverter every day to light their path and show the way. Cut it! Cut! So here we are guys inside the luxurious cab of our sturdy truck Seymour. Some people experiment with their sexuality. Others experiment with mind-altering drugs. Me, I like to experiment with portable electricity inverters. If you have a so-called cigarette lighter 12 volt power point inside your vehicle, you have instant AC electricity. This is my work laptop, which I use to complete important business tasks like leveling up my battle pass in Call of Duty. Please. Flick of the switch and we have power. But do we have enough power? We're about to find out. Note that I am now recharging the lithium battery inside the laptop. So you can do that with a lower electricity demand using 
the little Ampeq. Now Ampeq says that these devices are 88% efficient, so you don't really get 200 watts out of them. You get more like 176 watts out of these devices, so keep that in mind. And frankly, this is what happens if you pull too much electricity through the Ampeq. We've done a lot of testing of these inverters powering different appliances. It's kind of like with certain types of pants. When in doubt, order a size up. The smaller units are great for recharging. So this 200 watt unit comes with a nice 23 inch long cable so you can plug it in to a power port and there is an on off switch on the rear of the unit but it'd be pretty easy to velcro this anywhere you like and you have instant ac electricity i want to come back to the affordability of these units these devices are available for around twenty dollars or less i paid twenty dollars for this one this one you can typically find for around fifteen dollars and the price will fluctuate a little bit but they're really a great deal. I mean, you could easily find yourself paying 20 or $30 for a simple phone charger. Here you get a phone charger and an AC outlet. So I think it makes a lot of sense to have several of these devices in your tow vehicle and in your RV. However, you can actually use these devices to power your entire RV. Because like many other things in life, they come in a variety of sizes. <laughs> so you pay more, you get more, but they're still very affordable. For example, here is a 2000 watt inverter. And you can see with this inverter, you've got three AC outlets and also a couple of USB outlets. But you've also got 2000 watts. And with 2000 watts, you can power just about anything you need to power inside an RV, with the probable exception of an air conditioner. But if you want to power a refrigerator, a blender, a coffee maker, even a hair dryer, you could do so with these units. Now I call these inverter units BYOB devices. Bring your own battery. You are just getting the inverter unit, you're not getting the actual power supply. But the good news is that most of you already have the power supply in your batteries, either the 12 volt lead acid batteries that are probably inside your truck or the batteries that are inside your RV. And yes, a lot of people these days are using these to power their entire RV setup. And you can see these are designed so that you attach battery cables and hardwire them basically into your power supply source, whether it's your RV or your truck. Now here in the high-tech long, long honeymoon research labs, we have actually set up one of these inverters of the 2000 watt variety and attached the three foot long battery cables to a spare lawn and garden battery that had been residing inside my garage. So we did this really for demonstration purposes, but it shows there are really a lot of different ways you can deliver DC electricity to your inverter. Now, since I have this one hooked up to a battery, I'm gonna flip on the switch and you hear a little cooling fan fire up and this particular Ampeq inverter even has a handy built-in display. Now, this inverter is a pure sine wave inverter, meaning it outputs pure sine wave electricity that is completely safe for your portable electronic devices. If you are buying one of these units for camping, I would suggest you pay that little bit extra and get the pure sine wave model. But if you want to pay less, you could get a modified sine wave unit. If you are buying one of these units for extra power at a work site or in your garage, then you might be quite content with the modified sine wave unit. And in the box, you will find the inverter itself, a couple of three foot long battery cables, and also a handy wrench, which you can use to attach the cables to your power supply. And so that's it. it they're really simple devices. Uh, this one has kind of a capacitive on-off switch. 
The other one has more of a physical on off switch that I prefer. During our testing of the 2000 watt units, we attached the pure sine wave model to one of the batteries in our truck Seymour and plugged up our Airstream travel trailer directly to the unit. All right, so we have here a cup of water and a microwave oven, and we're going to give the Ampeak 2000 watt unit a quite unfair test. So actually it is microwaving. So right now the Ampeak is running our microwave oven and you can see, or can you see, it's actually delivering 1750 watts to the microwave. It just makes the point you can power appliances like microwave ovens using these AMP converters. But if you're powering an entire RV, you might want to step up to the 3000 watt model because you could never have too much electricity, can you? But it's working. In our testing, we discovered that a 2000 watt Ampeak can power both a small coffee maker and a hair dryer simultaneously. It maxes out at around 1850 watts. So that's it guys, a look at, stop. Thank you. A look at power inverters by Ampeak. These are really great little devices and I highly recommend that you have some around because you will have a much better quality of life experience at your campsite. We will have links beneath this video to all of the different sizes and flavors of Ampeak power inverters. Get in there and check them out. And I think if you read other reviews from other owners, you're gonna see that people are very pleased with the value proposition that these things provide. Until next time, this has been yet another episode of Long long honeymoon. If you're new to our channel, please subscribe. We're talking about all sorts of power equipment this spring and you don't want to miss a video, do you? So sign up and we will see you next time. I'm Sean. This has been yet another episode of Long Long Honeymoon where we say lo lo ho. No, stop it. No means no. With stop. Ampeak power, Sean lights up the night, turning DC to AC. Everything feels right. A pure sine wave modified both can do affordable power bringing AC right to you. Stop it.